What's up, peeps? Let's get into some cryptocurrency news. For starters, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This is just to help with research. Look at who is here. Welcome to my channel. Make sure that you subscribe. Today is January 9th, 2022. And as always, we are here to get this crypto money. We are here to make these gains. And you know what? Congratulations. You've made it through the first week of 2022. Congrats. A lot of people didn't get a chance to see 2022. So you have to be grateful for that. Now, the market may be moving sideways. It may be boring. But as long as you're in crypto for the right reasons, meaning that you're here for the long term and not to get rich overnight, you will see this as a blessing because it's an opportunity to accumulate more and buy some of your favorite coins at a cheaper price for who knows how long. But overall, we know long term things will pick back up and the market will come back. Now, today, the project that we will talk about is a project called Rainy Corn. So Rainy Corn is an NFT supercharged DeFi platform which allows users to stake and farm the Rainy token to earn points which can be used to redeem NFTs from curated drops, layers of gamification, create a true DeFi experience where users can earn yield from their platform interactions or gain special benefits within the ecosystem. The Rainyverse also includes a trading card game, ideal launchpad, and cross-chain bridge. Now, this article was actually written back on May 19, 2021. It also went into details about how Rainycorn will integrate Chainlink VRF into the Rainy platform. Now, you can actually check out the medium for rainy corn and latest news and latest developments and project updates that they've made so i will put a link to this and then put a link to everything and you guys can check it out for yourself when you come to coin market cap you will see that rainy corn is currently ranked at number 582. it is on 6471 people's watch list current price is at 0.10 cents and it's been up 12.10% in the past 24 hours with volume being at 2.5 million and circuit supply being at 486 million. And also importantly, this is all verified data. Now, a great thing about Rainycorn, it is on a Binance Smart Chain ecosystem, the BSC. Why is that so important? Guys, the gas fees are cheaper. Have you ever tried to transfer Ethereum to whatever altcoin you're trying to buy? Those gas fees are crazy expensive. Like you could try to buy, let's say $50 worth of a project, just $50, but the gas fees would be like $400. So this being on BSE, that is a lifesaver, right? I don't know what Ethereum has going on. They need to bring down those gas prices, all right? Now, looking at this all-time high, its all-time high was actually back on November 9th, 2021, two months ago, at 20 cents. So it's been down 49% since then, but guess what's also been down? The entire crypto space. Santa disappointed everyone. There isn't no Santa rally. We don't know what Santa did. Santa better make it up to us, all right? He better make 2022. He better deliver Christmas presents for us all throughout this year with some gains in crypto, all right? Santa, you disappointed us. There is no Santa rally. As you can see, price went up, but momentum started dying in the market. Bitcoin started going down around that time, and it brought down the price of this project and a lot of other altcoins. Whenever Bitcoin goes down, they go down too. But guys, overall, as you can see, this project has been making progress. The beginning of 2021, it was at 0.0085 cents on April 4th, 2021. Guys, 
despite all the pullbacks throughout this market, this shows you long term as long as you're willing to huddle, you will make gains. Even if Bitcoin, crypto, whatever project that you're investing in pulls back, as long as you huddle long term and see the long term vision and have the strength to have diamond hands, you will make a return. All right. Now, looking at the exchanges this on, it's currently available on PancakeSwap. Like I said, BSC Smart Chain, you can buy it with cheap gas fees. And it's also available on Uniswap. Now, this is the Ether scan. It is currently has 3,103 addresses. These are wallet hodlers that currently have it. And this is the BSC scan. 3,997 addresses. Some of them are going to be exchanges, but majority of them are wallet hodlers that currently have this project. So the project's not really talked about as much, but guys, look at where it's ranked. 582. Look at how it's been doing. Despite Bitcoin being down, the crypto space being down, it's been making a little gains. And the volume. So there's a lot of interest, a lot of action on this project. And the circulating supply is fairly low, so that means there's room to grow. And most importantly, I forgot to mention the market cap is only at 49.8 million. So this project has a lot, lot, lot more room to grow. Now, this is the Reddit page. The Reddit page has 346 members. Whenever you're investing in a new project or any project, Make sure to check out the Reddit page, the Twitter, the Discord, the Telegram, because you want to find out as much information as you can about the projects. Find us, find out the latest news, latest developments, any new updates, anything you should be worried about. The important thing about the Reddit page, this is the community, the hodlers. They all have one goal in mind, and that is to make it to the moon. So you're a also able to create posts and ask for help on the Reddit page. So for 346 members, it's not overly active, but it's not a lot of members because this project's not really talked about as much yet. But that is how you make the gains in crypto. You want to get into projects by number one, making sure to do your due diligence, do your research. And number two, investing what you're willing to lose. And number three, be willing to take the risks when people are not talking about the projects yet. Because that is when you get in at a cheaper price. Buy low, sell high. That is how you make the big gains. Right here is their Twitter. So let's look at their Twitter real quick. So as you can see, they have tweets from 21 hours ago, 13 hours ago, uh, 14 hours ago, January 7th. So overall, very active on Twitter. It's always important to check out their Twitter page. Why? because you wanna make sure you're not investing in a dead project. We don't wanna do any dead projects. You wanna make sure that the team's giving updates about latest developments, latest changes that they've made. So always check out their Twitter page and every social media platform that they have. Now, more about Rainy Corn. Right here is an article, I'm not gonna go through it. Rare Stone Capital, an active venture capital fund and accelerator has announced a direct strategic investment in Rainycorn, a multifaceted platform that has established itself as a hub for innovation in the crossover between NFTs and DeFi with a focus on gamification. The investment, which includes the direct purchase of Rainycorn's native token, Rainy, is rooted in a common goal to grow and develop Rainycorn's play-to-earn ecosystem through a community-centric approach Part of the deal includes hands-on marketing support, including community socials and viral marketing under Rare Stone Labs, the fund's incubation arm. So guys, yes, venture capital companies are actually investing in this project. Yes, that is a good thing, right? And when they invest, they're not investing a small amount. They're investing most likely six figures or higher. And they have an interest in growing this project because that is how you make your return as a venture capital. You want to help grow the project. That is how you're going to make your return overall. Now, more about Rare Stone Capital. This is their website. 
so I'll put a link to it. You guys can actually check it out. So as you see, investments, incubation, exposure, we back founding teams and Web3 protocols that align with our investing principles and directional vision. This is also their LinkedIn page. So currently they have 11 employees on LinkedIn that have them listed as their employer. So this is their LinkedIn page. And also right here, these are some of their employees, as you can see, some of the 11 employees. So things are good. Now, right here is Crunchbase. So this is more details about some of the investments that they've made. So based on Crunchbase, it's possible that there's other investments that are not tracked on here. Based on Crunchbase, there are 24 investments that they have been a part of. So as you see, these are some companies that have raised millions of dollars and they haven't been part of those seeding rounds and invested parts of those millions of dollars that was raised. So guys, for them to have an interest in Rainy Corn, that is a wonderful sign, right? These guys are not playing and they want to make a return on their investment. So here's more details about some of the investments. So the last one that they've done based on Crunchbase was actually back on December 1st, 2021, where they invested into Solis. So it was a seed round that they invested. Uh, Solis raised 4.3 million. There's no details about how much that uh, Rare Stone Capital invested, but they invested some good amount in there. Now, right here is Sanctor Capital. They also invested in Rainy Corn. So Sanctor Capital, a thesis-driven venture firm, is pleased to announce its strategic investment in Rainy Corn to support its ongoing development of highly anticipated play-to-earn trading card game, The Lords of Light. This is one of the investments for Sanctor Capital under their newly announced inaugural $20 million fund focused on GameFi. Rainy is pioneered on approaching to combining multiple innovative hybrid products that incorporate NFTs into DeFi concepts and packaging them into a single hub accessible through a staking model. This ecosystem coined the Rainverse includes the Lords of Light, which has seen widespread adoption since recently selling out 2,000 card packs and a popular play to earn incentive design. Now, this is the website for Sanctor Capital. So as you can see, so soon as you come, Sanctor Capitals is a sanctuary where bright minds can find the support they need to maximize their impact on the industry. We have a long successful track record of guiding early stage projects to crypto market success. All right. So here's more about the website and check this out. This is their portfolio. So some of the things that they've invested in different projects. Now, this is their team. So sorry if I mispronounce his name, but he's the founder, Han Kao. Sorry if I mispronounce that. He is also one of the partners. As you can see, these guys have very great backgrounds in the crypto space and blockchain overall. This is some of their advisors right here. So there are some big people that are advisors that have investment in Rainy Corn. Now, this is some picture of a uh, hand. So this is some of his pictures. He looks a little different in this one. <laughs> No offense, but he gained a little weight, or maybe he lost some weight. Who knows? Now, right here, this is some of their mentors. Check this out. This is Sanctor Capital, some of their mentors. These are connections that they have to people that are part of the whole crypto industry. So you have him. He has a product at Solana, senior product manager at Coinbase. You have him, former product at CoinMarketCap, Chainlink Labs. Uh, let's see who else stands out. Former CFO at Whole Boy Global. We got CEO at IDAX, COO at Certic. 
COO at Harmony right here. And you have editor at large at Corn Telegraph. Now, one person that stood out a lot to me, one of their mentors, advisors, and connections is Jing Sun. Sorry if I mispronounce her name, but she is a co founder of IOTech. So, IOTech, if you don't know, is currently ranked at number 89 on Corn Market Cap. It's been around for a while, though. It's been around since uh, 2018. So, the project has done tremendously well and is in the top 100. So, the reason why I mentioned that is Sanctor Capital, which is an investment fund, venture capital that invested in Rainy Corn. They have connections to a lot of big, important people. So this is great for Rainy Corn in its future. Now, right here is the current space profile for Sanctor Capital. Not all of their investments are gonna be tracked here, but as you can see, uh, there's three investments that were tracked that they've been a part of. So the last one was AAG Ventures. Uh, they were part of the seed round. AAG raised $12.5 I don't know how much that Sinker Capital invested, but out of $12.5 I'm sure they most likely invested a couple millions or at minimum six figures. Now, this is the website for rainy corn so as soon as you come to the website welcome to the rainy verse now it describes what rainy corn is all about how you can buy it pancake swap uniswap now this is the lords of light game that i was mentioning earlier i will play a demo trailer of that for you guys later so this is the tokenomics as you can see so they have over 500 million tokens that were burned the total supply fix is 1 billion. So earned by staking, provide liquidity. So overall, this is the website, initial artist lineup right here. Some of the artists participating in their NFTs. This is their roadmap. So some of these things have been accomplished. And like I mentioned, Sanctor Capital invested for the Lords of Light game which is to be completed quarter one of 2022 now this is the founders mind spheres and art ken so this is their twitter pages you could check out their twitter pages at mind spheres at art ken more details about them in their background as you can see they have tremendous background in the whole entire crypto space in leading projects Things are looking good for Rainy Corn, all right? Things are looking tremendously well. Now, like I mentioned, the Lords of Light. Right here, when you click on the website, you click on Lords of Light, is the page is gonna take you to. So you collect card packs, play to earn. These look wonderful, man. These are some amazing graphics. Like whoever worked on these graphics, kudos to you. These look wonderful. All right, so these are the packs. And like the other article mentioned, those packs have been selling like crazy. Guys, do you see why people are so interested in crypto, so interested in the metaverse, gaming, how those projects have done so tremendously well? Man, man. Look at how much money is being made, not just through the project itself, but just through selling packs, through um, through investment from venture capitals. There's just so much opportunity for growth in the crypto space. And you guys are all early stage investors. So right here, this is the open sea for the Lords of Light. So as you can see, there are over 860 owners, 49 items. Volume traded is at 189 Ethereum. So these NFTs, whew, these look beautiful, man. I love the designs. These are some very nice graphics. So I'm not gonna go through the entire thing. I'll put a link to it. Right here is a video. So the official gameplay trailer, I'll play for you.
that was nice that was nice <laughs> now this is their youtube page i'll put a link so you guys can check out more videos so these are some of the live streams that they've had now right here is a little uh interview that i found so shout out to crypto dojo i will put a link to this video you guys can check it out i'm not gonna play the entire thing just a little bit of it but this was the interview that they had with uh rainy's founder so let me just play it. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's really great. Yeah, so you, um, you're um, you a lead dev on one of our, our favorite new coins, Rennie Coin. And uh, I think, what, what did we stumble upon him? We, uh, well, like we kind of got we kind of got wrapped up in the meme animal coin craze a little bit. And <laughs> yeah. uh, I was kind of doing some whale wallet hunting. Yeah. And I was seeing a lot of this rainy stuff. And then when I saw it was Rainy Corn, we kind of were like, oh, we have to get in. Because Rainicorn, like the character from Adventure Time, yep. which turns out it was a, not even the inspiration for the name. All right, so I'll put a link to it. You guys can check it out for yourself. But it's a great interview. You guys can learn more about this project, learn more about the founder. Now, let's look at some technical analysis. So looking at the chart, purple lines are levels of support and resistance, all right? Now... The yellow line is actually the trend line. So yes, as you can see, price has been going up, down, up, down. But when you look at the overall trend since practically July 19, 2021, price has been going up. It has this periods where it goes up, it falls down for a while, goes up again, makes a new high, falls down, moves sideways, goes up again, falls down, moves sideways. It's actually went a little bit lower this time. But does it remind you of something? Something that moves similar like that, that kept on making new highs and then having a big sell-off? Hmm. Starts with a B. It ends with coin you don't know what it is called bitcoin <laughs> as you can see this project right here it follows the patterns of bitcoin bitcoin goes up not to exact t but overall back in july of uh 2021 like around end of july that was when bitcoin started moving back up people were like okay the market is over because we had the major crash from all the momentum that we had beginning of 2021. And things were moving sideways and lower for months. Then out of nowhere, towards end of July, things started picking back momentum. And prices started going up. And as you can see, price in rainy corn started going up too. And throughout the periods of uh, going up, there's been floods and attacks in Bitcoin, and Bitcoin would have days and weeks where it would crash, move sideways for a while. Rainy Corn was following the same pattern. Remember, September was a bad month for crypto. Traditionally, it's always a bad month for crypto. The stock market is always a bad month. It went down too. Then momentum started coming back up. Rainy Corn also went up too. So overall, guys, as you can see, price will go down for a while and make a new high. And look, it went down, moving sideways for since basically, practically end of December. But look at this massive buys. The wells have been moving price up. It's already break this level of resistance. So honestly, this project moves. It moves up fast, but it moves down fast too. And from history. After uh, falling down, it creates a new high. So most likely, guys, this project will retest this right here at minimum, the 0.15. And after that, it's going to retest this high and make a new all-time high, especially if they get listed on more exchanges and as word gets out about this project. Now, let's just say that you were to invest $100, right? Not too much, a hundred dollars. The market cap is currently at forty nine million, forty nine point seven million. 
let's say the market cap were to reach 500 million. All right, 500 million divided by 49.7, that is 10x. So 10x your $100 investment, you would have around $1,000. Now let's say market cap reaches a billion dollars, which is possible, especially when momentum comes back into the market and they get listed on more exchanges. Check this out, divide by 49.7, that is 20X, 20X, your $100 investment, around $2,000 will be made. Now, is Rainy Corn going to hit that much? Honestly, personally, I think it will. I really think it will. Not financial advice, not saying <laughs> that you, it's a guarantee, but it's an opinion. I think it will. Why? You see that they have venture capitals that are interested in them. And not only that, those venture capitals, they have worked with other successful projects. They have connections to a lot of people in the crypto space that are very important. This project is still early. It's still at the early stages. Yes, it's been publicly available since... April of 2021, but you have to give the projects time to develop. You gotta give the developers time to grow the projects. It's a part of the NFT. It has staking, and most importantly, it's gaming. Those have done tremendously well in 2021 and will continue to grow because guys, it's a new industry, especially the NFT. It's very new industry. Why else would all these companies be running around trying to get involved into the NFT space because they know how important that industry is and how it's going to be around for years to come. So this project, guys, not financial advice, is one of those projects I recommend that you guys look into. Make sure to do due diligence, only invest what you're willing to lose. But this one, seeing where it's heading so far, it has a bright future ahead of it. And it's one of those projects I recommend that you guys look into. And with that being said, I am out.